Thanks for watching. I'm creating this series to compile my learning in fusing corpus sheets together. I will also give examples on how I apply this technique into building different components using corpus. Since I'm still exploring the technique, you will see issues I've come across and work around on those issues. I have many ideas in using this technique, therefore this series will probably last for a year as I find more time to build different types of corpus bolts and create more videos on this topic. In the future, I will use this technique to build a modular pedal board, a modular hard shell kayak for better performance, a tri hull sailboat, which actually I finished half of it, a sailboat like a sunfish, which weighs less than 40 pounds. Currently, I'm working on a jump boat, which is about 12 feet by 3 feet. It's mainly for fishing and crabbing. Fusing two corpus sheets together is not new. However, the technique I illustrate in these videos seem to be unique. Today, I can fuse two corpus sheets together by ultrasonic welding, but it's costly and the low-end equipment will not give me a watertight seal. The reason for me to come up with this idea is because I want to build a bigger boat, but it is difficult or costly to get a larger sheet, larger than 4 feet by 8 feet. Today's video is about joining a 5 by 10 feet and a 4 by 7 feet corpus sheet together. This is my first trial to join sheets of this size together and it is not perfect but I think it's doable. Uh, it, it will meet my need. I will give suggestions on how I will improve on this next time when I have to do something similar. I'm building a similar boat but bigger can seat three people for fishing and crabbing. I estimated the overall size of the corpus sheet has to be 7 feet by 13 and a half feet. In this video, I will demonstrate how I fuse a 5 feet by 10 feet corpus to a 4 and a half feet by 7 feet corpus sheet. Please pay attention to the channel directions of sheet 1 and sheet 2 of the corpus. The reason I'm doing that is because once it's folded together and form a boat, I want to have a watertight seal at the joint area and I don't want the water to be able to go into the channel. And I have to do a fold line. This helps me to fuse two sheets together and you will see why later. I fuse the both ends of the corpus sheet so both sheets will be stationary and will not move around while I'm going through the fusing process. I place a sheet of cardboard there so that the nozzle of the heat gun will not touch the bottom corpus. I'm repeating this process. The corpus sheet are overlapped by about 6 inches. In the future, I will consider just doing 4 inches because the angle where should the heat between two corpus sheets is very narrow. It's difficult to have a good fusion if the overlap region is 6 inches wide.
I flip the sheet over to look at both sides of the fusion. Then I do a test. The test shown that the actual bond depth of two copper sheets are only 3 to 4 inches. To fix it, I apply heat and then I use a roller to flatten the joint. Hopefully, it will at least provide a better watertight seal. Then I cut a piece of copper sheet which is about 4 inches wide. I applied heat and fuse this piece on top of the joint area. It provides very solid bonding just because the copper sheet is small and it's so much easier to handle. I really like the result of this and I could do another similar patch on the opposite side of the copper joint. It feels like it's a very strong joint after I added this piece. To join the bigger sheet, I suggest to have three people. One will be positioned here, keep on pushing the corpus down. The second one will be holding the top edge of the corpus sheet. The third person will be just shooting hot air at the jointed surface of two corpus sheets. As the joint being heated up and the person and the person positioned here will keep on pressing it down, the heat will keep on applying until the whole joint is completed. I, by doing it this way, I would expect the joint will be so much better and the person controlling the heat will be able to apply better, more even heat to the surface for binding the sheets together. If you find this video useful, please subscribe and you will get an update on my future videos. Thanks for watching.